The Rolex Yachtmaster to some is just a more expensive Submariner. With its higher price tag and undeniable similarities, it's really not hard to see why. But where the Yachtmaster shines are in its sandblasted precious metal bezel, the amount of options you have in precious materials, and its thinner, more rounded structure. But what about for 2019? Should you go out and pick up this watch? I'm Kevin Leo, and this is my review. The Yachtmaster comes in a 40 millimeter case, water resistant up to 100 meters, but also comes in a 29 millimeter, 35 millimeter, and 37 millimeter case sizes. Comes with Rolex's 3135 in-house movement, an oyster band with oyster lock clasp, and was purchased for 9,000 US dollars. For those of you who don't know, the Yachtmaster was Rolex's attempt at creating a precious metal, more classy looking Submariner. Rolex wanted to create a more rounded, thinner watch that wasn't so much of a tool, but more of a piece of jewelry. And when they finally finished creating it, they came to a conclusion that the watch was just too different. It lost its tool, take me with you to a construction site look in favor of a more drive with your luxury vehicle to your nearest casino look. Now I'm not saying you couldn't do that with the Submariner, but let's be honest people. The Sub is definitely more along the lines of work with its deeper 300 meter water resistant trading, thicker case, and single direction moving bezel, where the Yachtmaster is more towards the play side of the spectrum, tossing out all those ideas out of the blueprint. As I said before, the Yachtmaster comes in a variety of different precious metals. You got your two-tone rose gold variant, the stainless steel, the two-tone yellow gold that I'm reviewing today, the rose gold on a rubber strap, and of course my favorite, the yellow gold. Now before someone in the comments starts typing angrily, yes, this watch has a gold crown on it. This was a mod done before my friend even purchased the watch. He told me he liked the color combo so much that when he saw it, he had to have it. Yes, the watch is real, just like a Rolex with a diamond bezel mod is real. Now that we got that out of the way, let's continue. The watch is crafted out of 18 karat yellow gold and 904L stainless steel. A Rolex standard when it comes to their watches, and for good reason. Watches like this one being a little over 10 years old still look great. The 904L, when polished, looks amazing, and from what I've read online, Rolex is one of the few, if not only, watchmakers that use this steel for their creations. Its main purpose is to be resistant to the natural body sweat and moisture, and with the 100 meter water resistance rating being fully submerged underwater. Rolex makes sure the stainless steel used in their watches meets their high expectations so that once you buy a Rolex, it'll be wearable for years and years to come. Inside the Yachtmaster is Rolex's 3135 in-house movement. This movement is used in a variety of different Rolex watches including the Datejust and of course the Submariner. The caliber measures in a little over 28 millimeters in diameter and since its introduction in 1988 has been Rolex's main movement due to its incredible accuracy, durability, and longevity. The watch features an oyster lock clasp, while nothing extraordinary, gets the job done and keeps your purchase on your wrist at all times. You never have to worry about the lock accidentally opening up because Rolex has put a lot of man hours into ensuring that their designs are top notch. Where the Yachtmaster 2 was loud, colorful, and has a lot going on, the original Yachtmaster is simple, elegant, and isn't screaming for attention. If you are looking for a stainless steel and gold combo Rolex, there are plenty of options available, but the Yachtmaster is definitely worth your attention. After having the Yachtmaster 2 for almost a year, going back to the 40mm was definitely a treat. 
the smaller size is definitely something I would wear more often now that I know what owning a 44 millimeter wash feels like. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm Kevin Leo with Rolex Reviews. Thanks for watching and God bless.